Hello Neats and Normies and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for today's video, I was initially planning to make it about um, how I lost the genetic lottery and I was specifically going to talk about how my appearance relates to my genetics and how therefore it's unchangeable and then essentially complain about how my fear, how my appearance sorry, affects my life and basically rant about how I'm an ugly person but I feel like it would have been dishonest for me to go ahead and continue with this theme uh, given that my opinions on this have somewhat changed a little bit and this was mostly due to a bunch of messages that I've received over the past um, I guess few weeks and coincidentally more so within the past um, few days and uh, basically telling me things like um, and just to clarify, I think this is this is because I sort of mentioned that I would be making this video in my first video and I think like in one video after that, but basically I think the overall theme of these messages was that I was not as ugly as I thought I was and that I'm overthinking things regarding my appearance, that I haven't lost a genetic lottery and that maybe if I put some time into my appearance for example like getting a new haircut then i could look better and you know one person even said that i was cute sorry that was terrible <laughs> anyways <laughs> i apologize for that um but yeah just upon receiving these messages it really made me um second guess what i had initially thought about myself uh, specifically the idea that I was ugly and I think there are multiple reasons for why I thought this in the first place and a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, well actually you know what I think there's a whole bunch that I could get into to regarding like why I'm so insecure about the way I look so I think I'll probably make my next video about that but basically, uh, in a nutshell, I actually genuinely thought I was ugly. And this is especially true given that I haven't had a lot of, uh, you know, person to person contact. And, you know, besides no one really ever tells you if they think you're ugly or not. So I've, I've just been always uh, stuck with this insecurity in my head. And I kind of played it up for various reasons, which I'll mention in the next video. But anyways, given that my opinions of that have somewhat changed, you know, for the better, thankfully, um, I think instead I'll be titling this video, uh, my five biggest insecurities about my appearance or something along those lines. And basically I'll be talking about a lot of the same issues I have with myself as I would have if I had made the original idea for the video, but I guess I'll, I'll be interpreting um, these um, physical flaws in a much more positive light and looking at them as more things that are wrong with me, but that I can change and that even if I can change them, that I should maybe not care so much about them or um, you know just be more comfortable with the way I look hopefully and maybe just not overthink the way I look and focus on more important things, which probably will have a greater impact on, you know, improving my life as a need and just as a person in general, like for example, my non-existent personality um, and my inability to speak properly too. I mean, hopefully that's something I'll be able to fix, but Anyways, I digress, I'm rambling. Um, let's get on with the video. Uh, so I'd say the first insecurity I have regarding my appearance would probably have to be my hair. And the reason I say this is because I really just hate the texture of my hair. And this is because, well, first of all, it's really thick, so that makes it extremely hard to style. And it, usually every time, well, back when I was a normie or back when I was in school, every time I try and style it, it would just, I don't know, it would either fall apart or it would just look extremely messy and like 
mangled together. And in order to make uh, any hairstyle work or like hold its shape, I'd have to put uh, copious amounts of gel and it would just look uh, terrible because like it would just look ext either extremely stiff or it would hold for maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes. And then it would basically return to its original form, which is just basically this or I don't know, a messier version of this. Um, and secondly, what I hate about my hair is that it's extremely dry and I have no idea why this is. I've tried everything from shampooing every day to uh, not using shampoo every day and like just using conditioner. But whatever I do, uh, my hair always just ends up extremely dry and frizzy. And this probably sounds disgusting, but I've even tried not showering or not washing my hair for like two to three days when I'm like have an exercise or anything. And I feel like that has given me the most improvement, but even then it still has this really weird frizzy texture that I just don't know how to deal with and doesn't go away no matter what product I use, like styling wise, like gels and whatever crap like that. But um, yeah, I just have no idea what to do with, do with it. And uh, I don't know, maybe if you guys know something that might help, uh, please feel free to uh, write it in the comments below. And the third thing I hate about my hair is the fact that it has this weird like waviness to it. And I feel like that's what contributes to the frizziness. So I'll just move uh, close up to my hair and hopefully you guys get a better idea and the fourth thing is that I feel like my hair tends to be on the thin side, meaning that only specific hairstyles will work for my head. And I feel like it's a lot harder for me to, uh, I guess, make myself look better because, um, I don't know, it probably takes a lot of effort to uh, style it in specific ways to like give it volume. Uh, yeah, I imagine this probably isn't going to be my most popular video among needs because I just sound like a stupid normie, but uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I just hate my hair. And aside from my hair, um, related to that would probably have to be my hairline. And due to genetics, um, I just naturally have a high hairline without a uh, recession. So that is actually my natural hairline and it's always been like that since I've been a kid. And I guess at certain angles, it doesn't look that bad. And I'm going to pull it down now so I can actually see. But yeah, I think that's another big insecurity regarding my hair. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to regret showing all this crap on YouTube. But uh, yeah, whatever. I mean... I guess it's for authenticity's sake. So yeah, anyways, moving on to the next insecurity. Uh, sorry, I actually forgot to add that uh, in my previous section that because my hair is the way it is uh, regarding my hairline and just the texture, I constantly have to have it in this specific hairstyle. And because of that, it's basically this outdated kind of cringy uh, Justin Bieber haircut that basically all teenagers used to have in uh, early 2010, if I remember correctly. And yeah, just having this haircut makes me look extremely immature and I guess unattractive, which is why I feel nobody takes me seriously when I'm out in public or just looks at me funny. Although maybe it's just all in my head but anyways, on to my second point. Uh, the second insecurity that I have with my appearance um, really has to do with my ass. But by that, I mean that um, I actually just have an extremely fat ass and, okay, a fat butt. Uh, sorry, I feel like there's no good way for me to say this. That doesn't make me sound... Uh, retarded 
But anyways, yeah, I just have an extremely fat butt. And um, the problem with this is that, well, firstly, it just makes my body proportions look really weird because, um, I don't know, I feel like guys are kind of expected to have, you know, like that V taper with, sorry, that V taper with a larger torso and which kind of tapers down to like a sort of thin waist and then have slightly bigger legs or like a slightly bigger butt, but not too big. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I'm actually being serious about this. Um, but yeah, like have a butt that's, <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, have a butt that's, um, not, uh, too big. I hope you guys know what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm probably being extremely sus right now, but anyways, I apologize. Uh, this is hopefully going to be the most, uh, questionable part of the video, but yeah. Um, anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, I think that, <clears throat> oh yeah, it just looks weird basically, like, cause, um, it just makes my legs look extremely fat. And it's also a massive problem whenever I have to buy pants because what ends up happening is that my legs are either a, a small or a medium <clears throat> in most, uh, like pant sizes, which is around like a 31 to 30 i guess but my butt and my waist because of my butt specifically is usually at around a 32 or a 33 therefore whenever i buy pants i always have to buy like one size up from what would actually fit the rest of my legs correctly and therefore when i wear these pants my legs just look extremely fat and given the body proportions that I have uh, specifically that my torso isn't massive and there's no way for me to uh, increase it uh, legitimately without using something like steroids. Um, I'm basically left looking like some guy with a extremely skinny torso and a f pair of tree trunks for legs. And I feel like that just looks really weird, especially for someone my age. Like I feel like that's what most, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> most 50 year old boomer dads look like with their big pants. And yeah, that's just what I look like no matter what I wear. And I don't know, I guess I'll have to figure out a solution for this, like maybe finding clothes that fit me correctly. Uh, but unfortunately I don't have the money for that at the moment anyways. But yeah, that's just been a huge problem with my life. And I feel like it just makes me stick out like a sore thumb whenever I'm walking around in public and it, I become really self-conscious about it. And um, yeah, anyways, the reason I set up the camera here is so that I could show you how big my butt is. Are you prepared? Okay, you can't really tell right now because this shirt is kind of large or oversized, but honestly, maybe that's what I should be wearing in public, but then I feel like wearing that kind of stuff is only good for like casual, uh, whatever. Like, like uh, if I were to like go to work, for example, I'd probably have to wear like a work shirt and then it would just look really weird. So I hope you guys kind of get what I'm saying. Uh, wow, I'm actually extremely cringy. I apologize. Like I'm trying to show you my butt, but, and I'm kind of too uh, shy to take off my shirt, <laughs> but yeah, cause I don't really want like, <laughs> I don't really want footage of me with my clothes off uh, on YouTube. Anyways, You'll just have to take my word for it. Maybe if I have, if I'm wearing clothes that kind of show off the problem more, I'll uh, show that. Anyways, on to the next insecurity. Uh, so my, th oh. uh, so for my third insecurity, um, 
I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably wrapping up all remaining three insecurities into one just because it's honestly getting pretty early in the morning and I am already quite tired. So basically, uh, my third and final insecurity for this video would uh, probably have to be my face. And um, I think a lot of that um, would mostly have to do with how um, round it is. And I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's extremely round. And also another issue that I have with it is the lack of a really defined jawline because, well, um, I mean, I do have a jawline, but unfortunately, uh, from certain angles or when my mouth is closed like this, it's not really like visible or it just looks like this weird round like um, curve. And that's honestly because uh, my, I guess my fifth insecurity, like I've kind of lost count now because I'm pretty tired, uh, which is my teeth, which are, should I be showing my crooked teeth on YouTube? Should I really be showing my crooked teeth on YouTube? Is this really a good idea for my future? Am I, well, I guess I did kind of commit to being a lol cow. So yeah, I will show my crooked teeth. Oh God, that, that's, that's cringe. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have that image burned into your eyes. Um. But yeah, as you can see, I do kind of have an overbite and that overbite along with, I guess, maybe the crookedness of my teeth uh, kind of pushes my lip outwards. And therefore, when I'm resting my mouth or when my mouth is in a closed uh, position, it's actually um, kind of pushing my lips outwards. And therefore, uh, I guess my jaw has to close or the skin around my uh jaw or my chin sorry that's the right word my chin uh um basically has to fold more so it ends up um forming this round shape but if i relax my lips which is how my mouth should look if my teeth were to be corrected with something like braces or invisalign um well my jawline is more, uh, sorry, I'm being really cringe right now. I apologize. Um, my jawline becomes more defined. Anyways, yeah, I will show that right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, I'm sorry. This is probably, uh, this is terrible content, guys. Um, and I apologize to my viewers and my fans. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably gonna want to delete this video in the future, but I mean, I guess it's not really that bad or I guess I'll have to keep to my word and keep it on because I did kind of promise to uh, leave all this stuff uh, undeleted in a previous video, I think. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, another insecurity I have is the fact that my right cheekbone is um, more outwards than my left cheekbone. And the reason for this was because... Um, uh, some extremely bad habits I developed when I was a kid and that was during a uh, class um, I would basically always recline on my fist or my hand while like reading books uh, on the computer trying to sleep and I would always uh, rest my head on my fist and I feel like this constant pressure 
on my left cheekbone as I was growing up basically for changed the bone structure of my skull to the point where um well my left cheekbone is more pushed in than my right cheekbone and that creates some weird asymmetries that I am not really a fan of and yeah well I don't know if there are ways to correct this I've heard that there are certain exercises that you can do and I guess worst case scenario if and if I could ever afford it there is the option of surgery but in reality like I feel that you should probably get the idea by now that I am a little bit of a narcissist just a little bit just a little bit uh and I care way too much about my appearance and I am definitely quite insecure. I probably am making myself look like a complete douche at this moment. And you know what? If you think that, you're probably right. I am kind of a massive douche. And I probably should work on my personality and my character, if anything else. But I mean, I guess that's the point of this video is to uh, highlight the things that I'm insecure about in terms of my physical appearance and I really can't think of anything else at the moment. Uh, I don't know. If you guys can spot anything else, uh, feel free to roast me in the comment section below. On second thought, don't do that because it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, this video is probably way too long now and I'm running out of things to say. So uh, I guess good night guys.